it was a hell of a fight. It really was. Um, you know, I, I told the team, I just, I don't know, I'm trying to think of the moments in my career that I've been proud of a team. I don't know. There's not, if there's any, there's not many. Um, you know, and just probably our, our attitude reminded me a lot um, of the, the halftime uh, down in Waco a few years ago uh, where we weren't playing well. But we were we were poised, and I think we all felt like our, our confidence didn't didn't change, and uh, it didn't get rocked by the fact that we didn't play well early. Team made some uh, team we were playing made some plays against us early, and uh, we hung in there. And I think there was a strong belief with our with our squad that if we can right the ship a little bit, and if we'll just cut out a couple of the simple mistakes we felt like we were making, that we could absolutely get back into this thing and. It was such a different game than we've played, obviously, because this was a high possession game, a lot of back and forth, um, and uh, it took everybody to do it. But what an epic comeback! Um, this one's really, really special here. It, it is. It's, you know, I, I, I don't think it'll be the pinnacle of our season. Uh, certainly, don't expect it to be. But at the same time, you got to appreciate for what this for what it is. And those of us that have been in this game know, know how hard it is to win it. You know, for both sides always. And so, uh, it was a great fight. Um, especially when you overcome a start that was probably maybe the worst in all my years of, of coaching, certainly in, in head coaching. I don't know if we've ever started off that that poorly, and uh, and we had to we had to dig deep. You know, there's a time there we feel like you know what, hey, you know, if you don't make a couple plays, we went, you know, we we said we're going to be aggressive, went forward on some some fourth downs. Obviously, got some huge stops defensively in the second half, some unbelievable individual plays. But you know, Marvin Mibbs, Caleb Kelly, really those guys, Kennedy. I mean, some guys really stick out. I thought our, our lines really in the second half uh, really played well, established ourselves, both the defensive line and offensive line. And a lot of credit uh, today, too, to our, our strength staff, our nutrition staff, our training staff, because record highs here in Dallas, you had in the intensity of that game, how many snaps there were. And I felt like our guys were at their best in the second half, and there's a lot of people that have contributed to that. So they're all appreciated. That is a tremendous win, and uh, very proud of my team. The game started probably as, as poorly as it could have for you all. Uh, how was your defense able to uh, regroup from that, whether it was the, the players, uh, you uh, and, and your uh, your assistants or, or, or anything like that? What was, what was the key to getting things heading in the right direction again on defense. Yeah, and you mentioned it. I don't know that it, it uh, in, in all areas, uh, you know, in terms of momentum, um, you, you, you know, you're not going to survive a lot of those games. Um, and some of it's obviously created by us. There's, there's no doubt about it. But um, I, I think in, the, in those moments, you've got to give all the credit to the players. Um, I mean, every last bit of it. Um, because, you know, they're the ones that... Uh, um, you know, ultimately got to find that resolve and you can call different plays and you can hug them on the sideline. You, you can say a lot of things as a coach. And believe me, we said a lot of things. And, and, and certainly, you know, the, the whole unit, you know, coaches and players alike, um, kind of despite maybe, uh, uh, you know, certainly the, the, the outcomes we had early. I think there was a trust element of things that, that uh, you know, I think we, we, we believe we're better than the product that we're playing. I think the kids did. Um, again, just, just dumbing it down to the first quarter and specifically the first half. Um, and, and so just uh, um, an attentive group at, at, at halftime. Um, and, and, you know, the, the quick message is life's not a Disney movie. It's very, very hard. And here we go. And it's not going to take one play or one stop uh, to get this thing done. And it just you're, you're talking to an audience that was listening. And again, none of the words matter, but just just the. Um, you know, the, the fact that, you know, it's not throwing chairs in, in the locker room or, or pointing fingers. I just give the guys a lot of credit because there's so many plays that had to, to take place in our favor in the second half to, to find a way and, and, and give the, you know, our offense, who did obviously a tr tremendous job in the end, um, to give them an opportunity to, to go win it. And so, uh, very, very proud of, uh, our players. They, they deserve all the credit. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.